This is Duke University. Entogenetics has solved a puzzle that's been at the center of fabric science for more than 20 years. The ability to create true spider silk in a scalable form. Entogenetics has discovered how to transfer a spider's production gene into the common silkworm, thereby creating a means for large-scale, inexpensive production of spider silk and creating multiple new market opportunities based on the application of this fabric, which is light, incredibly elastic, and tougher than Kevlar. We're dedicated to solving challenging problems by supplying superior fabrics for products such as bulletproof vests, which using spider silk can provide protection at half the weight and twice the mobility, saving lives and reducing fatigue. Our plan is to cultivate spiders, or actually cultivate silkworms rather, and to manufacture processed spider silk. This processed spider silk will be sold to weavers and makers of a variety of types of textiles, including ballistic fibers, a market estimated to be worth $400 million in the U.S. currently. We anticipate five-year revenues of $75 million based on a 15% penetration into this market and are now working with partners in, in ballistic vest manufacturing to potentially co-develop this based on additional field testing. We have a unique gene and method of gene insertion for which patents have been filed and we're looking for $900,000 to expand technical development and produce pilot quantities of this fabric. We have an amazing team, a strong team, with our inventor, Dr. David Brigham, who is a PhD in entomology and has more than two decades worth of experience in biotechnology and a team of graduate students with a variety of different skills and experiences. There are two major competitors, DuPont's Kevlar and Honeywell Spectra, and we outperform each of those on a variety of different factors without harmful chemical byproducts during the manufacturing process. Experts have told us they're looking for the next great technology. In <laughs> We're that technology. 